This is live in the studio tonight with more on the message that the governor has for lawmakers in D.C. Well, Greg, today the state released a more than 100-page report released today by five state agencies. It details 11 recommendations deemed critical to securing rails that pass through 22 New York counties, many of them right here in the capital region. Tonight, the governor is calling on the president to make improvements as rail safety activists call this the latest action a win. Every day, trains carrying crude oil pass through New York State. Many contain oil heading to refineries, and Governor Cuomo is taking aim at the type of cars known as DOT-111 holding this flammable liquid. There should be a level of, of concern about these tank cars. They're simply inadequate. They were designed to carry molasses. Um, they are thin-shelled, steel-shelled uh, uh, tank cars. When they rupture or when they're heated, they explode. The state points to five recent incidents where crude oil trains derailed and caught fire, the most recent in Virginia. Cuomo wants the federal government, which has oversight over the rails, to mandate a new design of cars capable of withstanding an accident. Right now, it's a, it's a game of chance. Uh, New York State uh, simply uh, can't wait for the next incident to take action. That's why we put the report out. And we demand, uh, certainly the governor has demanded that the federal government approach this with the seriousness that we are. Albany acts as a hub. Trains carrying oil from North Dakota and Canada all turn south. The state estimates more than 80 percent of the cars containing oil from the west have a poor safety record. Several local environmental groups were keeping a close eye on the state's report as they pushed for more regulation and a reduction of reliance on fossil fuels. We didn't know what to anticipate, um, whether it was going to be a, a secret report for a while or, you know, how transparent he was going to be. So uh, once again, I, I'm very pleased that uh, he responded so soon and the fact, with the fact that he wants those cars taken off the rails now. Now, just this afternoon, Global Partners announced it would stop using those DOT-111 rail cars after June 1st in Albany and at its facility in Oregon. A protest is planned tomorrow in Albany to push for that to happen industry-wide. Meanwhile, the state says in the absence of federal regulations, it is working to provide response tools and training in case there ever is a potential accident. Live in studio, Brandon Lewis, CBS 6 News at 10.